Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to completely remove Windows Defender or Windows Security. Um, you're probably wondering to yourself, why do you want to do that? Because, you know, so I don't want to say, I was going to say cheater, but that's not really a good word to say. Let's just say a game engineer. Um, so, I like to run unsigned programs, unsigned drivers and all stuff like that. And Windows Defender is absolute pest it's like a fly um it's absolutely a pest and that means you have to buy buy it um just get rid of it you know there's a lot of tutorials saying that you can you can use programs to um you can use this defender control to just dis to um disable it but disable it it's still there it's still in the background i don't like it i want to just get rid of it okay so Let's go and take a little look in our settings, shall we? So, as you can see, it's not even there. It's gone. Find device, that's all we have there in the um, Windows uh, Security tab. Um, <clears throat> and you cannot see nothing down here. Um, Windows Fender Service not found is because it's removed. Um, so I've got this program right here. I'm going to be dropping in my Discord. Join the Discord. Even if you're not in there, get in the Discord. Invite all your friends. We've got heaps of tools and stuff in there uh, for Windows and all all that stuff. Um, you know, um, heaps of stuff in there. So you might as well just be in there. So very simple to do, guys. Not hard at all. Um, you may actually have to manually disable the Defender to be able to run this Defender Remover, open it up, make sure you run it at um, Administrator, and you come to this prompt right here. So what you want to do is, if you're wanting to, um, you can either, you've got three options to do, okay? You can remove a Windows Defender and Antivirus, plus disable all security, um, or you can click A and remove all Windows, um, Windows Defender only and or oh, but keep uh, a v no U A V no a U A C enabled. Um, disable all security. So to be honest, you're better off pressing Y and just remove it all, get rid of it. Um, I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it. Um, uh, but um, yeah, that's pretty much really how you do it. It's that easy, and you're probably wondering too. Oh, you show us how to remove it. How do we reinstall it? Pretty simple. Just go on Google um, and just you know, just type in um, Windows Defender, download, and pretty simple from there. You can download it because it is will not download if you like update your PC. It will not um, download um, it. But if it does, you shouldn't need to um, re-download it. But um, to be honest, like. If you know what you're launching, you know what you're doing, you shouldn't need any Windows antivirus, um, to be honest. Um, you know, <laughs> there's a lot of programs where you can actually look into a program before you run it and see what it actually does. Um, I might actually leave that for another because it might take a little while. But there's so many programs where you can look in, you can see what the program is actually doing. Um, and pretty much it and um, a lot of people say oh well if you aren't really 100% sure of running a program why aren't you running a virtual box you know virtual box are really good but the issue with virtual box is that some um, you know uh, rat developers they develop ways to get out of the virtual box so a rat to bypass virtual box and actually go onto your main machine so virtual box it's still good but Personally, um, just know what you're doing. You know, not just just know what you you're launching and know what you're doing. Um, but um, for people like me, removing it is probably the best option. And you know, you should, even even when you buy Windows, you should have the option to permanently disable it um, or even remove it. Um, it's pretty ridiculous. You spend I don't know how much Windows is today, but um, if you buy a product, you own it. You sh you have the full, you know, like not this. Oh, you could buy it, but we're gonna limit you to what you can do with it. You know, like um, I feel like yeah, nah, 
I'm not about that. So, yeah. Hope this all helped you out. I hope you guys catch me in the next video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Click the like button. Leave a comment what you reckon about the tool and stuff like that. And hopefully I can catch you in the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.